to ask this, because every time we watch Aaron Rodgers play, we're blown away. And it's just certain moments throughout the game that you just go, man, how, how did he just do that? What amazes you most watching him play football? Hey, Chris, the, the crazy thing about when I watch Aaron Rodgers, it's, it trips me out because he sees everything and he gets the ball out of his hands so quickly. So he yeah. makes it so difficult for a defense to try to blitz him, to try to disguise coverage. And it's just so tough. And every time I see Aaron Rodgers play, and this is the only quarterback that I've said this about, every time I see Aaron Rodgers play, I say, wow, he does something incredible. I can't believe it. In his relationship with Devontae Adams, it's that extra sensory perception, that ESP, that telepathic <laughs> you just communication. Learned that word. I just <laughs> with it before the broadcast but they got that telepathic communication Rob what makes that connection so unique well the fans sit back and they see the catches they see the numbers they see the touchdowns but they don't understand all the work that goes on behind the scenes practice the the meetings walkthroughs and things and just the comp the casual conversations passing each other in the locker room and you you've knocked off a whole bunch of great wide receiver quarterback combinations how would you try to defend that duo we get to some of these big games in the playoffs well we talk about double coverage and even the Minnesota Vikings tried to double cover him on the first play and he still completed I would take my number one corner and my number one safety double team him and force Aaron Rodgers to go elsewhere with the ball you cannot allow Devontae had him to have a big game like he had tonight. Well, now they got this guy, A.J. Dillon, right? You got Dillon who's coming out of the backfield. Big power back out of Boston College. Loves his applesauce. He'll be joining us here in just a second. We'll ask him about all of the above. But what element has he brought specifically for cold weather football, which is coming their way? Well, number one, depth. You know, yeah. we know Aaron, Ro Aaron Jones. Yeah. For, why are these people calling my name? Rodney! Rodney! <laughs> They're not cold at all, Rod. I don't see one cold person they'll be here till 3 a.m. if they let them so what's the question again <laughs> AJ Dillon what's he brought to this Packers group? toughness just depth I mean you look think about 250 pounds in this weather yeah. and we saw in the fourth quarter in the third quarter when they get a comfortable lead now they can lean on him they can run the football wear defense down and that's exactly what happened today and then you got coach LaFleur who's sort of given just stability to this whole operation and it wasn't always roses his relationship with Aaron Rodgers, but what does that blossom into, that relationship? It's, 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 it's beautiful because he knows and he understands Aaron Rodgers. He understands that unique personality, and he's a guy that's getting the most out of Aaron Rodgers. So if I'm Aaron Rodgers, there's no way I'm leaving the Green Bay Packers. Everything is set up perfectly for you. You got a really good offensive line. You're getting a bunch of guys back on defense. Your defense is going to continue to grow and get better. And, of course, you got the best wide receiver in all of football in Devontae Adams. And you think about David Bakhtiari coming back, wow. Darius Smith coming back, Jair Alexander coming back. Really three of their best players you look outside of Aaron Rodgers. What will that infusion of talent do come playoff time? Man, let me tell you, it's going to give them a boost because, you know, at times you see and you kind of see a leaky um, Packers defense yeah. and you start to see, well, maybe they're a little tired, but then you get this level of talent, enthusiasm to come in. It's going to be big for them energy-wise. Hey, Chris Sims, when you think about the whole NFC, all these teams now having to come into Lambeau, who do you see that can come beat this group with the way they're playing down the home stretch? Yeah, no, it's going to take a special performance. And again, and listen, I'm not going to count out Tampa Bay and Tom Brady. Certainly not, right? I mean, you guys, we've seen, we've been there, done that. And of course, he's used to the cold weather coming from New England. Hey, the Dallas Cowboys, I'm still going to put them in the mix there to be one of those teams. You know, again, just too many great physical football players on both sides of the ball. But, uh, I, I mean, the list is, it's short. It really is. I would probably put the 49ers in that category, maybe to a degree. Uh, but to go up to Green Bay, Rodgers knows this. I've had these conversations with him. He knows they're a different team up there in January when, they, when the elements are in their favor, 10 degrees. He knows he can still throw laser beams all over the field. It doesn't matter if it's windy or cold. So whoever does come up there, uh, they're going to have their hands full. And you're going to have to play a perfect game as far as execution is concerned. I don't know if you guys heard me in the opening, but that's the one thing I'm amazed by by this Packers team. They remind me a lot of like the Patriots teams Rodney played on. Doesn't always just go wow, 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 but they never miss up, miss, mess the game up. They execute in all phases of the football game, and that's where they're really impressive.
Hey, Chris, I got to ask you again. Again, did you say the San Francisco 49ers? Uh -huh, you believe, I heard that. You believe they can come up here and beat the Green Bay Packers I, in this weather? I, I'm going to put them in a short – like, I don't feel as confident about maybe them as Tampa or Dallas, but the way they run the football and with Shanahan and his ability to come up with game plan plays, make the game easy on the quarterback, and then their defense being a top-ten defense, I am, Rodney. I'm going to put them in that. I know I'm probably in the minority in that conversation, but uh, – I, I like a lot of the things I see out of that 49er team. The, the only thing that I was kind of hesitant on is because Jimmy G, he has that injured hand, right? Yeah. It's cold up here. And these guys are physical. They get after the quarterback. I'm, I'm going to have to disagree with you a little bit on yeah, that one. I, I do agree with you on Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay could definitely come up in here and play well, and I, I still believe in the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, but you think about Tampa Bay, they've really been weakened. Chris Scott went out of the lineup. We saw what happened with Antonio Brown today as well. Mike Evans been battling a hamstring. Tom was I know dejected he came today back. talking about AB. What did you see from Tom after that Tom, game? Tom Miller's was dejected. He was dejected because he put so much effort and time in trying to develop and trying to help Antonio Brown out and for him to be so selfish like that and the kid needs help that's right. Tom's spot on but I mean Tom is frustrated yeah and, and here in Green Bay what's what has everybody so excited those championship expectations just continue to rise it's because of this defense so when you watch this Green Bay defense on the field Rasul Douglas a midseason pickup they had what is it that catches your eye about that D you know what they have a lot of lot of great fantastic players I mean start start up front with Kenny Clark I mean no. the guy has just been absolutely dominating the interior of the defense yeah, they try to double team this kid they try to double team him and he breaks the tackles and then you get that pressure from the outside, Zadarius Smith. You get Rashawn Gary. And then you get Zadarius Smith coming back during the playoffs. They're going to be very tough to deal with. And we haven't even talked about Zaire Alexander, the all pro cornerback. That just gives them more depth. Depth at the most important place. See, I'm a, on I'm, that. A, I'm a pro. As much as these fans are yelling my name, I'm still focused. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most lively group of fans Let's that go, we have had for a post game Let's show. Go. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.